looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the NFL Honors promo that is coming shortly into the game, guys. Now, if I'm not wrong, I believe awards will be announced this week. Unless, times, unless the time has changed, I've been keeping up with that news, guys. But Super Bowl is later this week, Sunday to be exact. So today is, uh, I believe, Wednesday. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have four, four to five days, depending on how you look at it, until we have the Super Bowl. So usually the awards are announced before then. So we will know MVP, Defense Player of the Year, Comeback Player of the Year, Man of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year, uh, whatever else they end up throwing into maybe Madden, like Fantasy Player of the Year. So based off that, guys, we're going to have a lot of good cards coming to Mud, a lot of great players. Now, first and foremost, guys, before we get into today's video, I do want you guys to go down below. Smash the like button, comment down below, guys. Both those things help out the channel tremendously, so make sure you guys are always doing that, as well as comment down below who is your block for, uh, like, awards. Like, who's your MVP guy? Who's your fancy player of the year? Like, who do you want to see? Who do you think is coming to Mutt? Let me know down below, guys. But that's about it for that, guys. If you need coins to pick up any of these cards that will be coming out later this week or any of the Super Bowl slash playoff content, make sure down below. Hit the link in the description for Mutt Reserve. Use code Poodle at checkout over there. You can get some pretty cheap coins for a great price using my discount. Now, moving on from that, guys, get into it. So, first things first, NFL Honors, right? If we look at the overalls in the game right now, overalls are sitting at a pretty 98 overall powered up, right? Which is going to be the newest Super Bowl players. So, we're going to be pretty much, at this point, I'm pretty much expecting the NFL Honors will be 99 overalls, right? It, it pretty much has to be, right? Because if we do can get, if we look at overalls, we can get it to 98 already. So, with us being 98s here, I'd imagine that we do get a 98 overall, probably league MVP, and maybe one other player, uh, maybe offensive player of the year, maybe defensive player of the year, maybe not, maybe those are 97s too, but MVP probably will hit 99 overall, so the thing with that is though, I believe our first 99 overall is going to be the Super Bowl MVP, so remember, pretty much for a week from now, we will have our first 99 overall, maybe a little over a week depending, so you have to imagine that uh, the MVP and stuff will probably be a powered up 99 because shortly after we're getting our full 99, right? So that's going to be super exciting, guys. It's going to be a super fun time this week. I'm going to go over some of the people I expect to see a reward from. Get to go over some stuff, guys. But there's some great potential for some players that could get awards, guys. Like, obviously, like, there's guys like Aaron Rodgers who we pretty much just expect at this point. You know, one of those guys who just really just killed it this year. And although Mahomes is up there... For the most part, we expect that Aaron, Ro Aaron Rodgers will pretty much just get it, right? So, comment down below, who is your locks? Like, who is your guys? Who are the people that you just think are a lock for it, right? Who, who is that guy for you guys? Now, remember, in terms of fantasy player of the year, that could be a few guys. It really just depends. But, guys, let's head on over to uh, the Mudhead screen, go over some of the ones from last year and go over, I believe. So, we are here now. In terms of, like, locks here, so last year we had Lamar Jackson as the MVP, right? That was a given. Lamar Jackson had an historic season. Like, I think almost, like, 50 touchdowns, something like that. He, he, went, he went crazy. Had an historic season. Clays Campbell, man of the year. Again, that's a wild card, guys. I think every team in the NFL, 32 teams, uh, submit a man of the year. Like, uh, nominate one. And then, out of those 32, one is picked, guys. So, that could literally be a, anyone from any team. Uh, there's probably already a leading on who's going to win it. But I never really checked that stuff. I kind of like to be surprised on who's going to win these awards. If you know, if you look into the polls before and you pretty much go in knowing, I like to go into the award ceremony and just, like, see, what, see what's going on before it happens. Now... We had Michael Thomas, who won Offensive Player of the Year. He had an insane year last year. Uh, 1,700 yards, 9 touchdowns. Obviously, I think he broke the reception record as well. So that was definitely interesting with 149 receptions. Christian McCaffrey won Fantasy Player of the Year. So by the way, we'll probably have the same award format as last year. Uh, Stephon Gilmore, 97 overall cornerback. He was Defensive Player of the Year, had a great year. Kyler Murray won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Nick Bosa won Defensive Rookie of the Year. So we had six, seven total awards last year with the Lamar Jackson being 99 powered up, right? So that's going to be probably a similar format to this year. So in terms of who could win MVP, right? We're leaning towards Aaron Rodgers, I believe. Aaron Rodgers probably will have a 99 overall card, which is going to be a super good quarterback card, probably the best quarterback card in the game, unless Patrick Mahomes gets a 99 overall Super Bowl MVP. In that case, they'll be very similar cards. It just comes down to chemistries and everything else. Now, man of the year, couldn't tell you guys. Offensive player of the year. Now, this could be a few guys. It could be a wide receiver, a running back, or quarterback. Now, Kyler Murray is a dark horse, I would say, for Offensive Player of the Year, even as a quarter as a quarterback. Again, I don't know if they want to give us another quarterback, but Kyler Murray had an insane offensive year, and Josh Allen. So if there's going to be a quarterback, I will go Josh Allen or Kyler Murray. Now, let's say it can't, it's not going to be a quarterback, right? It's going to end up being another position. So Offensive Player of the Year could be, this is where Derrick Henry could possibly get a card. Derrick Henry had a crazy year. 
Dalvin Cook out of Team of the Year, so I don't think he's getting one, but he could still win it, guys, in real life. Because, again, real life dictates what actually happens here. So, and sometimes that ends up giving us a Team of the Year power-up, kind of weird power pass kind of stuff. So I think Dalvin Cook, Derek Henry, or Kamara, probably the leading front runners for Offensive Player of the Year. And then maybe Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill or those three guys. That's probably it on that aspect. Now, Fantasy Player of the Year. Fantasy Player of the Year, guys. If it can go based off quarterbacks... Again, Josh Allen or Kyler Murray take cake on that one probably. But if not, same three guys. Derrick Henry. I think Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Kamara, and probably Tyreek Hill somehow lead that aspect of Fantasy Player of the Year. The craziest one out of all of them was I think Derrick Henry actually had the most fantasy points. Unless it was PPR. It depends on how they viewed it. If they viewed it by PPR, I think Dalvin Cook and Kamara actually had it there. So it really just depends on that aspect. Then Stephon Gilmore, Defensive Player of the Year. I honestly don't know who's the leading candidate for Defensive Player of the Year. Again, I don't look into it. I try to be surprised when game day does come or award ceremony day does come and I just hear the names and then, you know, it's always fun to hear from Madden. Like you heard Michael Thomas and Stephon Gilmore last year. Everyone was upset because they knew they were going to be slow cards. We heard McCaffrey knew it was going to be a slow card and we heard Kyler and Lamar. We knew they were going to be good cards. Kind of how it works. Then for um, Offensive Rookie of the Year, I think we're leaning towards Justin Herbert. Now, Justin Herbert card could be really good. He love the throw power, the accuracy, and some speed. Probably get about a 90 speed. He's going to be really, really good. Kyle, Justin Herbert's going to be probably, you know, along. You know, he may not be a meta quarterback because of his overall, but he's going to be along the lines of what would a meta quarterback look like at that point. But if we also get Aaron Rodgers and we get Mahomes, then probably be overshadowed. But Justin Herbert's going to look super, super good when we do get him, more than likely. Unless we get, um, there were some other guys like Justin Jefferson who could potentially get it. But I think even Madden thinks that Herbert's getting it because when it comes to team of the year, we got the Justin Jefferson there. And then for defensive uh, rookie of the year, I'm not sure, again, who's leading that in terms of that. Again, like I said, don't look into the polls. But again, defensive rookie of the year and defensive offensive... Oh, sorry. Offensive rookie of the year and defensive rookie of the year are going to probably be um, the lowest overalls of the bunch. They always have been. They probably won't give them high overalls because they're, you know, they're the rookies, the up-and-comers. And sometimes the rookie of the year doesn't even have the greatest year, but he did better than all the other rookies. So it would be tough to give him 99 overalls, you know what I mean? So those are always going to be fun picks. But the, the meta picks are always these up here. So... Man of the year is a wild card again. It could be anyone. You know, it could be like Eli Manning. Like we've, I'm pretty sure Eli Manning has won in the past. So you end up with a man of the year, Eli Manning, Calais Campbell. That was actually a pretty good card. And he had a team of the year as well. So he did end up getting a like power pass. So the way that works is Calais Campbell had a 96 team of the year. And then he got a 97 man of the year. So since they were one overall part, they made it so you only needed one. You didn't have to buy his NFL honors card. All you have to do is power up his team of the year card. And you automatically got the man NFL honors card in there. And you ended up at a 98 overall. Or if you had the man of the year, uh, I think you didn't have to buy that. It pretty much ruined his, his, you know, man of the year card. Same thing with Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas had a 96 overall team of the year card. So when you got, when you powered him up, it automatically gave you a power up option in front of the Michael Thomas uh, 97 card. So pretty much you got it to a 98 overall for half the price. So that was super fun. Definitely like that they did implement something along those lines. Now, in my, in my opinion, guys, it's going to be probably a better year of NFL honors. In terms of the fact that we're going to probably get an Aaron Rodgers. That card's going to break the game. You know, fast release. People always have loved Aaron Rodgers for that. As well as the fact that he will get some speed. He just bought everything you want in this year's Madden, right? That's what an Aaron Rodgers card is. And in terms of fantasy player of the year, if we get like a Dalvin or a Derrick Henry or something or a Kamara. Considering Kamara's last card has a 95 powered up speed, this new Kamara would probably have a 97. Considering Derrick Henry's last card is 93, this new card would have probably 95. So you know what I mean? Like, we have some potential there. And then Dalvin Cook had a 95 powered up, so he might get a 96. Like, they, they will be meta running backs if we get one of them. And if we get Tyreek Hill, obviously, it's GG. But the thing with Tyreek Hill, they may be scared to give him. The issue with Tyreek Hill is he may get it. That's why they haven't given him a Super Bowl card, right? He may get a Super Bowl card. And if they do give him one, what's going to suck is that if he wins one of those awards, which Tyreek Hill, I don't think he's ever won an award like that, but he, it's, it's possible, guys. It's within the realm of possibilities. He had a great, great year and everything. But, guys, that pretty much does wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, and you guys are subscribed and you always like the videos, make sure to always comment and like. It helps the channel out tremendously. Comment down below who's your lock for the award or who's your favorite award potential winner, right? Like, is it Aaron Rodgers? Is it a potential one of the running backs? Man of the year? Let me know down below who you're leading towards and who's your favorite award ceremony guy that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Also, as well, guys, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the noti bell. If you do need coins, head on down to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle for an additional discount at checkout. And, guys, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys have been having a good time with Madden. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Enjoy the Super Bowl promo. Yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.